Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers, and today I'm going to be going over the cards that I'm about to send into PSA. Alright, so let's start this off with the first card, which is an amazing card. And some of these cards we might sell and others we won't. Like this Venusaur right here, I don't care what it gets, I'm not going to sell it. This is something that me and my brother pulled together on the channel when we got three base set packs. And this was, I think this was, yeah, this was the first pack we opened. It was this Venusaur. And I believe when I looked at it, I saw that it did look a little off-center from the left to right. Doesn't seem too, too bad. But I'm hoping for a 9 on this one. Like, I feel like I can't just say that any of these are going to get a 10. I'm just going to say I'm hoping for a 9. And a 9 on that, I'm sure, is going to be worth a lot of money. Here we got one of the Charmanders I pulled from that theme deck. All of these I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping for a 10 on all of these. I think like I showed before, 10s have gone for um, like $500 for these Charmanders and near mint condition, like pack fresh. Some have just sold for $60, which is insane. A Charmander Japanese, $60. And that's about the same for like a near mint Red Cheeks Pikachu. Some are selling for like $60, and then it's a few hundred if you get a nine, and I wanna say maybe even like a thousand if we get a 10. This one is looking pretty good. I wanna say I saw some whitening on on these, but this one, I don't really see it. I think this one, I'm really excited to see how this one comes back. All right, here's another one that my brother and I pulled. So this is another one that I don't think we'd ever be able to sell, and, uh, because this was the, I think this was the second card. My brother opened the first pack. He got the Venusaur. I opened up the second pack and I got the Zapdos, which is funny because I've opened a lot of vintage packs and I normally pull Zapdoses. And this is awesome. And the third pack, spoiler alert, we didn't get anything. I think it was a computer search. This guy, this is the big card I'm sending in. It's crazy. I purchased this card. I didn't pull this card. I purchased it and oh, let me know what you think it's going to get. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I'd want to say a nine, but I don't think it, I don't think it would get it. It's looking so good for being a shadowless card though, but there is some silver and I think maybe a little bit of scratches on the front, but I didn't think this card was looking as good as it did, as it does. So there was like no whitening. And it just looks really, really awesome. This is a Shadowless Blastoise. I purchased this card like two years ago or a year ago for like $40. I looked it up now because depending on how much a card goes for raw, you're going to pay different amounts to get it graded. So premium prices, my buddy said it was like $55. And the other cards, like I believe it's if it's over $99, then you have to pay the premium grading price. So I have to pay the premium grading price because this card raw in a uh, near mint L light played, like basically it's in good condition like this, are going for over $400. I want to say it was like $430. So yeah, I had to pay a little bit extra for this one to get graded. But I would lose my mind if this gets a nine. Let me know. I think that's that whitening right there. That's just the case. That's just the. Packet. Let me know if you think this is a nine possibility. I think I just want to say eight or seven because I can't. I still I just don't believe it looks as good as it really does. But yeah, I would probably cry happy tears <laughs> if this comes back and I get a nine. That's one since I did buy that like two years ago uh, myself for like forty dollars. If I'm able to get a few thousand dollars for that one card, um, I might just I might buy something awesome. I might, I might have to sell it. I might try to find another raw one for like a few hundred bucks. This, so this is another one I would never sell because this is another one my brother and I pulled. And I had this set to go to get graded a few times. I was never able to send it out because I just always spend money on something else before getting it graded. But this is the card that I opened on my first video ever. It's what started the whole channel. My brother was like, well, this, okay. Story times, this is going to be a shorter video, I'm just going to tell this story real quick. And I said it a few other times. So my brother moved over from California to Texas. We did like a Pokemon Go event 
and uh, and we we're just having a good time. And I was like, hey, I bought in, I bought some vintage packs like a long time ago, and I'm sure it's light, but. What do you say we open it for like old time sakes? You know, like me and my brother used to. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. And he was like, let me just videotape in case you get something. But I was like, man, I bought this online and everybody says these old packs are weighed. I don't think there's going to be anything in it. And he was like, no, no, we'll just videotape it. So we videotaped it. Didn't think I was going to get anything. Never thought I'd upload it to YouTube because I thought it was just going to be nothing. And yep, I pulled this Jolteon Error. That was the big thing. I was so excited, I didn't even notice it was an error card. My brother had to point out. He was like, hey, why doesn't it have the jungle symbol? And I was like, what? This is a crazy rare error. It's not a crazy rare error, but it is, it's an awesome, it's an awesome error in the jungle cards. And now we're finally sending it off to get graded. Like the Venusaur, I think the centering is off just a little bit. So I'm not expecting a 10. I honestly haven't even seen a PSA 10 error Jolteon um, on eBay. I've seen PSA 9s and it's, yeah, Loot Box TV actually like a week after I opened up my pack and got this, he opened up one and got one and he got his graded and he got a 9. So it would be amazing if I got a 10 and beat him. Okay, this is a Dark Charizard, another card we pulled back in the day when you can get these vintage cards for an all right price, vintage packs. So there's two dark Charizards I'm sending in. A little bit of whitening right there. So we're not we're not expecting a 10 out of this guy. But it's still an immaculate shape. Really gorgeous. Dark Charizard. Just under a hundred dollars for like a near mint dark Charizard right now. So I'm hoping to get this into PSA. Um before I want to say it's like $88, $90 for a minty dark Charizard holographic. And there's another one. Maybe it's a little thick on the bottom. I don't know. I'm terrible at looking, looking at those things. Like I'm not allowed to hang anything in the house. Is that a white spot or is that? Oh, that's just on the, that's just on the case. That's not on the card. See? Okay. Good, good, good. So this one looks really nice. A lot of these cards look really nice. This is another card. This is one that I had to pay a bit extra because I want to say this is going for a few hundred dollars. I want to say it's like four or five hundred dollars. Near Mint, first edition Dark Charizard. And this one would blow my mind if it got a 10. Maybe a little bit. Whitening up there and there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to get a 10. Maybe a nine or an eight. Still very gorgeous card. Now these guys, I don't think they're in perfect condition, but I've had these shadowless ones for a while and they're definitely not bad. And if these were to get a nine or 10, it would make my day and they would sell for a lot. Lugia, this is another one that I don't think I'd ever sell because this Lugia I believe is one. I don't think I pulled this one with my brother actually, that one I ended up trading for like a, <laughs> Is a terrible story. I ended up trading for two booster packs back in like 2000. And this is one I think I purchased a couple years ago just because it was something missing from the collection. This one, I believe, might be one that I purchased in one of the episodes riding with Pokemon that I do with the Trainer Wolf. I purchased it for, I believe, $20. So I believe now they go for about $30 raw. And it's just a really beautiful card that I would love to have graded. This one right here, I pulled with my brother. So it's another one that I don't think I'd ever sell. Yeah, we opened up a Neo Discovery pack. I believe we opened up two or three of them on the channel. We were looking for the Tyranitar. We haven't pulled that one. Also, the Espeon is another beautiful card from the series that we want to get. But yeah, gorgeous card. Not worth a whole lot, so... I mean, right now, but it's another card that has a lot of potential, and it's just something that just means so much to like me and my brother and to the channel that I just really want to get graded. Just have it protected. Another Japanese Lugia. I don't know which one was the one that I got in the episode and which one I had before. So, hey, I'm just going to throw them both in there. They both look pretty minty. Maybe just a little bit of whitening. So just to get an 8 or 9 on any of them would be pretty awesome just to have that Lugia sealed up. 
right here we got another Charmander got from the theme deck again rolling the dice hoping to get a PSA 10 as like I can look at these cards I've watched Pokemon channels for years and I've seen them do this and I've been like oh yeah that's gonna get a 9 that's gonna get a 10 that's gonna get an 8 and I've been all right with it this is pack fresh but you can tell that there's some silvering or something going on right up here but this is another card that we pulled that's not good so that's not it's probably not going to get a high grade but it's just something that me and my brother we did pull on the show i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna send this one in i might i might might not because that did look kind of bad that's another reason i'm doing this right now just see some things like that this Bulbasaur Chalice, we got a little bit of whitening down there. Still a gorgeous card, and I think I just want to get this protected. Another Pikachu from the theme deck, Japanese. I believe as at a PSA 10, they're going for like $175 right now. Ooh, it's kind of dark, yeah. $175 right now. So who knows? Who knows what they're going to be like when I get these back? That's the other thing. I'm not expecting to... That's why I'm doing this right now. Um, it's because instead of just like showing this and then showing them graded, because I might not get these back. Excuse me. I might not get these back for like six, seven, eight months. So who knows? Just PSA is just so backed up. Though the guy I'm sending them through, he got a few of his cards back in like a month. So, I mean, he said that was like a fluke that the guy he sent them to was like, yeah, don't expect that to happen again, really. It happens sometimes, but it's really rare. So, who knows? I'm expecting I'm expecting the worst and hoping for the best. So, yeah, that's going to be part of my first submission. Like I said before, there was another 10 cards that I already sent in. That was just a bunch of Pikachus, Charmander, Squirtles, and Bulbasaurs. But, yeah, um, I'm hoping for some awesome grades. Let me know what you think uh, has the best potential to get a 10. And let me know what you think that Blastoise will get, the, the Shadowless Blastoise. Because man, if that gets a nine, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> well, thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting. If you're new and you like Pokemon content, um, go ahead, subscribe. That'll be awesome, it'll make my day. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Or you can always slip in my DMs. I've been having a lot of people DMing me lately on like just showing me some of their awesome cards. Like, should I grade this? Or have you seen this error before? And I love that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm really into Pokemon. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. But all right. Y'all have a great day. See you later. Bye.